we got Flight Reacts, ESPN Top 100, NBA player ranking 24, 25. It's that, it's that time of the year, man. NBA season back on Tuesday, man. You know, you just pay a couple of these rankings, you usually some BS. You know, the past two years have been BS. They didn't win last year. That was disgrace to basketball. I don't expect nothing less. What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight T, stand up! We got the official 2024-2025 NBA player rankings. You guys know what we do. Look what we have here. The yearly top 100 official NBA rankings brought to you by Shout Flight. the NBA season starting in less than seven days. Yeah. Let's see if they are on any BS in these rankings. And as usual, BS gets called out. Yeah. All right, starting at 100. First of all, Morant, A.E., and Donovan Mitchell be top 15. Simon says, dude, from the <laughs> Simon says. He calls him Simon says. Pretty fine where he's at. 6'3", small guard. CB. Now, I'm going to see. I want to see the description. Right, I'm going to read this. 6'3". Oh. 100. Simon 100. Says, right. the Whatever. He's pretty fine where he's at. CP3? CP3? He dropped down 99. Dang, you're old and short. And Mike Conley, speaking of old and short, Mike Conley's right next to you. Eee! He's pretty much at the end of his career. Get a chance to play with Wet Bananas, the top 10 NBA player of all time and right now. Um, and also curious to see where Wet Bananas is. My brother. Listen to ESPN rankings, but nonetheless, CP3 should really have a nice... They had Kyrie like at 76 last year, bro. They had Kyrie at 76 last year. Look, roller Or something like that. It. Bro, if I'm personally him, he should just be averaging 15 assists, bro. Like, just right off the bat. You know, this is a perfect opportunity to make yourself... You know, look good uh, to finish off the rest of your NBA career and finish off in the top 100. Do not blow it. Because I ain't going to lie, I feel like CP3 is about like 10 more bad games from getting that new generation disrespect. And what I mean by that. Oh, yeah, you blow my mind. KG on Brooklyn Nets. You blow my mind. Shaq on Celtics. You blow my fire. Disrespect is just basically like yep. the new NBA fans of like the newer generation. Yeah. They're just like slowly trying to like basically just the Russell Westbrook type of effect and just like crazily just bash players. You yep. know they were at once nice, but obviously they're in the later part of their career. So, yep. um, you know, hopefully CP3, you know, finishes nice strong. You blow my mind. At uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. With that he's song. Where he's, at. he's been a solid Her? player. Um, he's been in the NBA since Silly Bands with a style since I was in like 10th grade and stuff Facts. like that. Um, Facts. Never been an all star, but hey, it's pretty yeah, nice. He's been a one time all star back in 2021, I think. One time all star. The West is just so loaded, bro. With guards. To see that he's maintainly stayed in the top 100. He should pretty uh, 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 finish off solid in his career. Mm -hmm. We got uh, Her. Herbert Jones from the Pelicans. That's the defensive dude? So I guess Gobert is on here. Let me see. Let me find out Gobert on here. Who is this? Gobert's like number probably number fifty. Not rank. And our Herb, Herb, the dude on the dude for the Pel for the Pelicans. He just plays defense. That's all they ask of him. I guess. Oh man, Howard! Man, man, it's an NBA man. It comes an NBA champion. He's crashed the top one hundred. What do you do? Al Horford, uh, center for the uh, uh, the Celtics. Pretty fine where he's at. He's been a solid role player. He got a championship for the first time in his career. I think he's coming up on like 20 NBA seasons, too. Um, he's pretty fine where he's at. We got he skipped Murray Keegan. He's fine where he's at. He skipped. He's just skipped. He skipped Jalen Suggs. Didn't he make all NBA last year? Yeah. All defenses. All defense team, not all NBA. All defense second team. Played 75 games. So he's not typical league guard. So he's the point guard for the Magic. Don't they still got Cole uh, Anthony? Um, pretty fine. Where's Keegan Murray, Murray Keegan whatever. He's just a shooter. Brooke Lopez, he's just a shooter. You got to tell him that he's seven feet tall. Then all of a sudden, he start going in the paint, start dominating. But some of you got to tell him before every game that he's seven feet tall. Uh, Brooke Lopez, Jabari. I didn't watch him play. No one watched it. The Rockets. All he does when he all you want to do is shoot. You got Jabari Smith, pretty solid right there. He got to the top hundred after his rookie year. I think he has potential um, to make an All Star game or a few. He better. He just hop three pick. The next couple of years in the NBA, he's about six eleven and a half small forward. Uh, there's a lot of potential right there. We got Giannis. the Giannis dude who's now playing for the Wizards. He plays for the Wizards. He well, you want to lose? Find where he's at. We got Wiggins. He's ninety. Ah, I don't know Wiggins.
This man was an all-star starter, averaging 18 points a game. I don't know. Got Iggins, Wiggins of Andrew. Pretty fine where he's at. Now, you know, obviously, Will uh, Wiggins has been having, you know, uh, certain types of uh, issues, whether regarding certain injuries or, like, off, um, you know, the court issues. Yeah, hope everything's, hope everything's good with your family, Williams. If you guys didn't uh, realize he had a family member that passed away this offseason um, and stuff, and what was the reason why he was away and had to, you know, leave during, like, personal issues whenever that was, like, you know, brought upon and everything, and people were just making the craziest rumors. And, you know, I, I knew that it was just obviously those rumors was just never true. But, you know, uh, prayers out to Wiggins and yes. stuff. If yes. you didn't know, yes. Wiggins also came out on social media and basically said out of, like, his say? entire NBA career, he's basically the most ready, like, to go this NBA season. Hey, don't tell it. Don't tell it. Show it. Ben Simmons been telling us that since 2021. You got to come out and show it, bro. You got to come out and show it. Talking is just one thing. You got to go out and show it. So it's just to see. I hate when you blow. Oh, I've been this is the best I ever felt. I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a breakout season. Show us. Don't tell us. Show us, man. Uh, about with my Golden State Warriors uh, throughout the year and stuff. Uh, we got the MPJ dude from the Nuggets. Free following. Oh, he played. Oh, he played. Oh, how many games he played last year? Time out. Eighty one. They said. They said the number one pick, Richard Shea, the dude that played for the Hall, he said he's Michael Porter Jr. with a healthy back. Uh, with the back of a 19 years old, which is his age. About he said if Michael Porter Jr. never got hurt, he would have been Richard Shea. That's how you say his name? Richard Shea. Golden State Warriors uh, throughout the year and stuff. Uh, we got the MPJ dude. Hardenstein. He's pretty fine where he's at. We okay. Got... Hardenstein, okay. Hardenstein? Yeah, he's nice. He's a top 100 NBA. Yes, he is. Nas Reed, uh, six got, man a year. Nas Reed, he's fine where he's at. Honey, got Hot West from the Heat, pretty fine where he's okay. at. Okay, Dort, Dort is on his list. We got the Dort. Bro, he's, just a, he's, just, he's not a three and D player. He's just a one way player. He's just a deep, deep defense player. Take away the three. Just take away the three and that's his player bit right here. D D prototype. From the OKC Thunder, he does not deserve to be in the top under. Thank you, thank you. Pretty lucky to be there. CJ, eighty four. All right, whatever. Oh, we got McCollum. CJ's pretty fine where he's at. Ever since he left the Blazers, his game play has been kind of yeah. Good. I feel like yeah, he's not really a point guard. They got Dejounte now, so you can go back to the shooting guard to score. Certain players are just not meant to leave like their NBA duo, and you know I feel like McCollum playing next to Damian Lillard throughout his career kind of. Gave him like that boost, and now that he just doesn't have that duo and the, those certain chemistry attributes, his game is kind of you know kind of sub bar below average. I can drop him off in them one v one eleven two. Um, yeah, I get his defense. Yeah, his defense not good. Flight could probably beat him if he actually <laughs> if he's actually take smart shots and he don't let him touch the ball. <laughs> Flight could probably beat him. There we got smarter Marcus. He's smart. Talking. Okay, whatever. Okay. Um, where he's at. Um, I know he got traded. I think uh, he, Last year. Is he playing with the Knicks or he's with the Grizzlies still. I thought he got traded. Oh, okay, somebody else maybe. Mitchell yeah, Robinson. Uh, Mitchell Robinson is lucky to be in the top hundred. Yeah, yeah, he's just a one-way player. We got Miles, Miles Turner. Miles Turner. Who's now that's a three and D player right there. Now that's a three and D player. Miles Turner. Be in the top hundred. I feel like Miles Turner for somebody that's his height, six eleven, seven foot. He's kind of like that Brooke Lopez too. You got to tell him that he's seven feet tall. But he get he be but he he get busy on defense though. He get busy on defense, so yeah, he deserves it. I think he would be averaging about 20, 25 points per game with ten plus boards. You know what I'm saying? Pretty Go ahead and say if I already know we flight about to say Jermaine O'Neal would have ran him out the league. Average. Um so Nick KD said that too. KD said that too. He said twenty years ago, none of these players would have been in the league. I'm like Flight said that. <laughs> like I said, Flight be a fire assistant coach. Flight would be a fire assistant coach, bro. Like one of those fun assistant coaches you can have fun with, though, and bro, and just joke around. Hopefully, we can step it up this NBA season for the Pacers. Uh, we have Grant, Jeremiah Grant from the Blazers. Jeremy Grant, get him right. He's top 100, man. He's top 100. He's just on a trash team, so he don't know. But we saw him on the Thunder, bro. You saw him on the Nuggets. He was nice. To be in the league. Flight, get your uh -huh. game up, bro. Step your game up. Get your b ball knowledge up, bro. Get your b ball. And that's Grant Dermy Grant. Okay, Fred Valet from the uh, Rockets. He was playing with the Raptors. Uh, okay, what a... that right there. Oh, so... ha Polynesian! How did Polynesian make this list? Oh hell no! Hell no! What Polynesian? What did he do? Bro, 
he probably paid off who he probably paid off Malika Andrews, bro. He probably paid all that. Put me on the top. Put me on the top. Top, 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 top 70. Top 70. No, nah, I can't do that. Top 80. Okay, I can do that. Hey, hey here's my money. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hell no. Nah. How did Polynesian make this? They only played one season in the NBA. And already managed to get on my nerve before the season even started in the second year. Bruh. I don't like his game. I don't like his game whatsoever. But I got to respect it, though. I got to respect it because he impacts his team in a positive way. So I have to respect his game. You know I don't like it. We shouldn't be no top 100, bro. You know the Polynesian, no. 29. We got Pods in the top 100 at a 78 overall. Or not overall, excuse me, but 78 ranking. For the my Golden State Warriors. Hell no. Uh, pretty, Polynesian, uh, go back. Right there, too. I think he can go up in the rankings. I think he's going to uh, have a lot to prove, especially, you know, with Klay Thompson out of the lineup. He's going to have a lot more playing time. You have the McDaniels, too. McDan okay. Okay, he's kind of like, yeah, okay. Okay. 77, Luka Doncic. Not deserve to be in the top 100. Oh, yes, he do. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. He can shoot the three now. He can shoot the three. He got a little offensive bag now. He can play defense. Yes, he do. He's a solid role player for where yep. he is playing at with the Timberwolves. But That's all he no, needs. he's not a top 100 player. Uh, Tyler Hero. Hero Tyler. He fell off last season. He's fine where he's at. You know, Hero's been injured, I believe, the yep. last past couple of seasons. But that does not mean that he is an all-star level NBA player. I feel like out of especially his past couple of seasons. He even said it. Yeah, he even. Oh, my goodness. I didn't mean to do that. My fault, y'all. He even said Hero should be higher. <laughs> Hero should be higher. <laughs> but he ain't. He ain't. This NBA season is the most approved. I feel like this season will make or break Tyler Hero. To be honest, I don't really see Hero playing with the Heat past February. I think Hero nope. they say he should have been in Portland, bro. He should have been in Portland. He was mad at the Heat too. Yeah, hey, put bad me in trade talks. Yeah, hey, all summer long, and y'all gonna bring me back? Honestly, like get traded. You know what I'm saying? Maybe to the Warriors. He got traded in everybody's nice mind, trade. bro. Everybody like, mocks trade. He got traded. Potential to maybe maybe trade some like uh, two second round picks. Maybe we can get away with that because I see a lot of just outrageous trades in sports. People can just trade second round picks and just get nice all star players. So why can't we? Fuck it. <laughs> um, so let's see how Hero plays this season. Yeah, Demon Chinzo, okay. Who okay. We used to play with the Golden State Warriors and now play for the uh, the Knicks. And now he is with the Timberwolves this season and lining up with uh, Ant Edwards and a uh, few more players. He was involved in that trade deal with Cat. I think he's pretty fine where he's at right there. Um, I think. He should finish off the NBA season in, in, in 70 and anything past that. Not not past it, but up, you know. So, what did y'all say on Levine? that? Zach Levine. Levine? He Dang, he fell off. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. See, here, here's the BS. Here's the, the BS is coming in now. Oh, man. Where do I start? Zach Levine is legitimately top 35 of today NBA player. Not of all time, of a today NBA player. This is, and even see this is back on what I'm saying. You see on the bottom below of all these players, his 2023 NBA rank was actually 38. How does Zach Levine go all the way to 74? You're basically saying that Josh Tudor Jr., who's going to come right after him. You called him God. Yeah, yeah, born two down teens, two down. They don't know nothing about no Josh Childers, bro. Allen is basically a better player man dog like what the hell are they thinking what espn what are you guys thinking man now i know that you know espn is obviously ran by multiple 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 people so i'm pretty sure it's probably based off like four different analysts that made these rankings but bro how did you guys get zach levine who was literally an all-star like two years ago. He wasn't an all-star last year, obviously, because he missed most of the season because it was some crazy injury. I just forgot. But putting him at 74 is so disrespectful, bro. How can you put the Zach Levine dude at 74 ranking, dog? This is crazy. And then next up, you have Josh okay. Harris Jr. at 73. <laughs> bro, no disrespect. And, and, and to be honest... My man Jared Allen, look, you gotta thank me because I've been low key like putting off for him of giving him a like an, an, an OG role player from the early 2000s, Josh Childers from the Atlanta Hawks. You kind of resemble him a little bit. And he played you for the Suns too. But, bro, wait, hold on. I didn't even know I was about to flame him for a second. I just looked at this. I didn't know he was averaging 17 points per game, but he's still not better than Zach Levine. I ain't gonna lie, his paragraph right here saved him. Cause I was about to flame. I didn't know he was averaging. I thought he was averaging like five, six points per game. 
All right, self net, but I didn't go all the way with the flame, so not too bad. He's averaging a double double, which is actually solid, seventeen and twelve. Uh, but bro, to say that he is a better player than Zach Levine, seriously? You got Reed. Get off this, bro. He's not seventy two. He should be lower. He should be like eighty, bro. He should be like eight. Someone, um, him, um, him, um, him. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. LeBron called for the ball. You won't give LeBron. You ain't him. Stop it. Stop. You ain't gonna wave off LeBron. You ain't gonna wave off. Away. You not him. Down to eighty. Ain't you try to? Ain't you try to mess with me on two K, bro? And what? How did, how did that end out for you? How did that end out for you? You got shut down. Shut out. He should be a ninety. Matter of fact, yeah, he should be a ninety. He, ain't mean, he should be in the nineties, bro. He's too high. Pretty fine where he's at right there. He no, no, he ain't. No, he ain't. He called me out on two K. Um, they got a couple of more nice uh, weapons on the offensive and defensive end, such as Bronny James. You got the new dude. Uh, maybe D'Lo might actually step up uh, for the Lakers at that point guard position. Uh, Lakers fans, uh, what do you have to say to this? Oh, that's right. They got that neck dude. They got that neck dude. He's a shooter. He's a shooter. They got that neck dude. You think he came from Tennessee? The neck dude. The Dalton neck dude. And next, at 71, the former Golden State Warriors. Play. Uh, I think he should be a little higher in the 60s. With the Mavericks now, coming in at 71. And I ain't even going to lie to you. Just because Clay got traded from my team does not mean, you know what I'm saying, the respect does not continue. And I feel like that should be the same with anybody that is a true Warriors fan. Why is Clay Thompson from last year, he was ranked 41 and now he is ranked at number 71. How do you guys feel about that? I feel like maybe you should put him at like 55. You know, definitely he had an absolutely crazy, terrible playoff performance. 0 of 10. We will never forget that. I understand. But, bro, to put him at 71, I really feel like Clay has a solid two or three years left in his NBA career. Now, if he plays like that, the way he played towards the end of the NBA season last year, and finishes off with that, you know what I'm saying, um, 0 of 10 or 0 of 7 or whatever. I heard around, you know what I'm saying, word around the basketball streets. You went 0 of 8 or 0 of 9 in the preseason game, but I'm not going to say nothing too much because it's, it's preseason flight. No, I'm not even watching preseason. I see all the highlights, but I'm not watching. I'm not reacting to the highlight. Wait till Tuesday, man. Wait till Tuesday when the real thing start. Yeah. Season nobody cares about. All right. Next up, you got Bill. Whatever. Yeah, he deserves to be 70. He sees injured too much, unfortunately. Bradley's hey, Russ need to be his teammate again. They'll jump all the way up to number 20. Find where he's at. Um, Jalen Green. Yeah, you find where he at. Crazy. Last season, he was ranked number 37. Actually, no. Actually, this, this is actually... Why are you talking about Red Bull? Why don't you drink Red Bull, baby? <laughs> Perfect where you're at right here. You know what I'm saying? You have a big three with the Phoenix Buns, and you guys failed to make <laughs> Phoenix Buns! Second round, I believe? They oh, got yeah. swept in the first round. You're lucky to even they taste that broom. How's that broom taste, Bradley? He'll be in the top 100. You got a lot to prove. You got Jalen Green. Jalen Green, uh-huh. He's, he's fine. Pretty fine where he's at. He actually rose in the rankings last year. He was at 80. Uh, I feel like Green... The youngest... Green became the youngest during the 11-game win streak in March. During the streak, Green became the youngest player in NBA history to average 30 points or more over an 11-game stretch while winning each of those outings. And he still don't got a max contract because he ain't consistent. Potential to become a real big superstar in the NBA. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Don't get it twisted. Like, like, like Flight just said, don't get it twisted. He still has potential to become a superstar. He averages about like 21, 22 points per game. The Rockets have hella weapons. You know what I'm saying? They got, you know, Green. They got Fred Valet, my man Kenyon Martin Jr., uh, Jabari Smith, and uh, a few more other players, I believe. My man, uh, the Ty Ty Washington. Um, like, they, they got a lot of potential. You got Brandon Miller. Brand, he's too high. He's too high. He should be like in the seventies. Um, pretty fine where he's at. I think he's a solid role player for the uh, Charlotte. You got, Jay. got that new contract. And he's fine where he's at at sixty-seven. Dream mine. Oh, no. I don't want to hear his mouth. All right, you're fine, Draymond. You're fine where you at, Draymond. I don't want to hear your mouth. I don't want to hear your mouth. And you might like, load up the podcast right now as we speaking. I don't, I don't want to hear Draymond. You got it, bro. You got it. <laughs> now, I feel like respectfully, Draymond Green should just by default be a top 50 player. Hell no.
Just given the fact that. Oh, I said it's my fault. You gonna hey, Draymond loan up that podcast right now? He about to go on a rant. How much he does? My bad. The Warriors. <laughs> now I understand that he was absolutely being a menace to society last NBA season. Hopefully that doesn't transfer over because you guys know that we had plenty enough breaks and everything. We didn't make the playoffs. So Draymond Green was even speaking about, I believe, in certain clips that he has been, you know, talking to therapists. Don't quote me on it, but quote me on it. I believe he said that or whatever, like talking to therapists who just been getting a lot more rest and different, just mental, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, just... You know, space and everything like that. So, I don't think Green will be too toxic this NBA season. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just knock the camera went off. Draymond Green, see, there you go, Draymond again, knocking out my camera. All right, yeah, we back. Draymond Green knocked out my camera, but I took control back, man. I took control back. Who knows? But It might go out again. But yeah, right now, I got control. Hey, I feel like he should be a default top 50 player. You got Monk and Willie. Yes, sir. Top 100 for sure. Malik Monk. He's nice. He's nice. He's nice. For the Kings. No need to think twice. Let's find where he's at right there. Yes, got quickly. Manuel okay. Quickly. He rose in the rankings from last year. Now okay. he's 64. I honestly don't be paying attention to him like that, but now he is playing for the Raptors. He got traded midway throughout the last NBA season yep. from the Knicks uh, going to the Raptors. So how do y'all feel about that? that? Middleton, you know, he dropped off. I'm surprised he didn't drop off further. But, you know, yeah, I don't know. Chris Middleton was out in 20 before Giannis became an MVP. We got Chris wannabe Michael Red Middleton. <laughs> Chris Moe calls the same thing. He's a wannabe, a wannabe star player, wannabe all-star. He's fine where he's at right there. KCP. You want to say PCP? Uh, you got the PCP dude that's 62. Wow, he was mm. in the top of mm. the last couple okay. of years. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. He's, uh, he's a casual, but 62. He should be in, the, in like the nineties. Not a top hundred player at all. Um, Border, I say borderline. Yeah, he's not a top hundred player. They're just glazing at this point. Um, there's no way he has above twenty jersey sales. Um, but <laughs> what do y'all have to say about this? He's a, he's a decent role player. I will give him that, but he's not a top hundred player. Josh Hart. You got Josh Hart. Hart. Sixty one. I think he should be high. I think he should be in like the the. The uh, uh, low 40s, high 50s. Who was another not top 100 player. Last NBA season, he was at the 91 ranking, and now he rose all the way to 61. Who are you talking to behind the scenes, brother? <laughs> Josh Hart. <Charlie. laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out for. Uh, 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 what was that player I forgot? I forgot. There's another NBA player I can drop off um, in a 1v1, 11 2, 11 3, most likely. Uh, but what do y'all have to say? He is a solid role player, and he is a great hustler, though, for the Knicks. Um, mm -hmm. He came up very huge. In the well, playoffs, yeah. NBA playoff season, but he is not a top hundred player, unfortunately. That's right. Um, he doesn't borderline, have... borderline. Oh no, 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 yes, he is, yes, he is, yes, he is, yes, he is, yes, he is. It's based off what he did in the playoffs. He top one hundred. Have a bag. Like, Thibodeau, and Thibodeau loves to play. You know, he don't never get off the court. That's skill right there. All forty eight minutes. I'm sorry, I'm. It's it, Thibodeau. Thibodeau. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything <laughs> uh, with any of these uh, player rankings. So higher, know, higher. You know, we got Bane should be higher, bro. He's tight. He should be in the 40s, bro. Not 60. He should be in the 40s, yo. Bro, y'all only pay attention to John Morant? Bro, Bevin be pretty nice to improve this playmaking. Six assists again, 24 points. Come on now. Desmond Zane from the Grizzlies. Pretty foul reason. Call him Zane. Didn't move at all that much and stayed in the same. No, he's in, he should be in the 40s, bro. 40. Rankings. He's a pretty solid role player uh, for the Grizzlies. He's not a role player. Uh, what do y'all have to say for that? Alex Caruso. Caruso of Alex. Ernie Johnson's OKC son. Thunder. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think Caruso should be in the rankings. I think he should kind of. Yeah, same thing. Play. Now that I think about it, yeah, same. Just a defensive player. Player that just, you know what I'm saying, just runs around on the court, get his cardio in for the most part, and block people up. He's just like a one way player. You don't ask him to shoot threes. The only three he takes is why he can't hit a contested three, but, you know, he's not. I don't think he's a top 100. If he's a top 100, he should be in the 90s. Back into the rankings because last season, you know, he had an injury. And in the year before, he actually wasn't even in the top 100 to even begin with. So unless this is like an error and he was in the top 100 at any given point of his career, then I take back from what I said. But you guys already know, I've been giving Caruso his props. He is a solid role player. But given the fact that what they're saying that last season even and the year prior, he was never even in the top 100 rankings. So why all of a sudden is he in the 59th spot? Who knows? Uh, we have Kobe, Kobe White. Kobe White, okay. You show me the second half of the season? In the playoffs? We well, didn't make the playoffs, but in the play-in. Okay. I guess, because he had to replace Caruso and Lonzo Ball from last season, remember? 
uh, from them, them, their injuries. He averaged 19 points his career high in the last NBA season. Got a little cotton mouth in his bed. My bad. Uh, we got uh, Garland. Darius Garland, the garlic dude from the Cavs. Pretty fine where he's at okay. right there. Live? Oh, hell no. We got live. Oh, yeah. LeBron, I'm blazing. Because he was a starting center on his team that went to about many top 56, bro. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. He's probably in the 80s. Stop it. 56 is crazy. And he's going to he's gonna disrespect Jaron, bro. You think Sam Poon? Oh, yeah. You're crazy. I acting crazy now. Here's the part where they act crazy. They get Sam Poon is better than Jaron? Does Sam Poon have a, have a defense player of the year? I don't think so. Has Sam Poon ever been an all-star? I don't think so. This is Jaron Jackson Jr., bro. He's top. Bro, he should be a top 35. He's top 35. He should be number three. That's the lowest he should be, 35. A lively number 56 is just crazy, bro. It's just crazy. Bro, he should, he should barely be 100. He should barely be on his list. Glazing is crazy. McMahon. McMahon. And, and I think the dude works for the Mavericks, too. He's just straight glazing. Wow. Just because they went to the finals that you go from a non-ranked player all the way to 56? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and now, Lively, we did give him his props um, throughout later part of the NBA playoffs of last season. I believe he is a maybe a number 90 ranked NBA That's what I said. out of a top 100. Not a 56. Yeah. Yet. That's what, what I said. What do you say about that? We have Justin Jackson. John, that's crazy. 35. He should be 35, bro. Sam Poon, Sam Grill, that's crazy. This is a disgrace. He is a disgrace. Sam Poon, bro. Grizzlies. Pretty fine where he's at. He no, he ain't. It's a player of the year. Hell Last no. Year, wet banana should have won. He should be in the 70s. He should be in the 70s, bro. This man right here should be in the same. He call him Baby Jokic, bro, so he's not the real thing. Get up out of here. Yes. We got the shampoo dude from the Rockets. <laughs> he called him shampoo. I believe he deserves to actually be in that 54 range. Hell he no. Not over Jaren. Not over Jaren. A couple of Rockets games last season. Now we watching Rockets games? Shampoo actually had a couple of 30 plus point games. I believe he even had a 40 point game, if I'm not mistaken. He actually he still don't got a max contract. As a uh, a bad, um, you know, especially he's kind of undersized. He's about like six nine, six ten, you know, for a power forward center. So, and I actually actually forgot about it in, in terms of putting him into that that Rocket core lineup. Uh, my bad about that. Uh, to go along with the other weapons, along with the Rockets. I think the Rockets might make a late playoff run and get dropped off of my Warriors in, like, the third round. Uh, but, hey, I, I, I see it happen. <laughs> RJ? RJ Barrett, um, I think he's pretty fine where he's at right there at number 50. Low-key, he's supposed to be, like, part by like, a top 30 player. People predicted him to be. Well, he's 50. Under Wagner, boy. 50? I think he should be a little bit higher. I think he should be in the 40s. 40s. Franz Wagner, I don't he's know. nice. He's nice. Wagner is nice. About being Him and Ben Carroll, one two punch. Me too. Maybe, maybe. He ain't moving out one inch. He ain't moving out a muscle. He said, don't move a muscle. Maybe like the 80s and the 90s. We got OG. OG and the booty. <laughs> OG and the booty. All right, he's fine. Uh, he's fine. Where he's at right he got that max contract. He's fine. Right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. I went down too far, and I just seen the ranking for Ant Edwards, who was at 10. But, okay, so after that 51, um, we're going to 50 through 11 now. My bad by, uh, about that, guys. It was a whole article just jumped ahead. All right, going into 50. LaMelo, 50? That's the injuries, bro. He should be in the 30s. He should be in the 31 for that. We're not judging off injuries. He's going to be in the 30s. LaMelo, ba! From the Charlotte Hornets. Pretty fine where he's at right there. I think LaMelo is going to have a lot to prove this NBA season. We all know, I already know that LaMelo Ball is a super. He ain't played 22 two games? Dang. NBA, but he's been having multiple injuries these past couple of seasons that he's only been able to play about, like, what, 20 games the past uh, two years? Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, he gets back into the, you know, swing of things and, you know, he gets back to that, you know, what we know he is a superstar player as. Aaron we Gordon. Jordan Averian is pretty fine where he's at. The Nuggets playing, you know, mm -hmm. with Jockage and everything. I think that's a pretty good solid role and pretty good ranking mm -hmm. right there. And he, I believe he won a dunk contest a couple of years back there close enough. You got Randall LeJohn. Ju Julius Randall. Who is now a Minnesota Timberwolf. Pretty fine mm -hmm. where he's at right there. Yeah, I agree. You got uh, Mobley. Oh, I thought he would be higher. He was higher last year. He dropped down. You got that max contract, though. You got that max contract. What you going to do, Mobley? What you going to do? Uh, Mobley, Evan, um, I think he's a little bit... That's right. I'm pocket watching. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I'm pocket watching. Uh, I'm like Shaq when it comes to Rudy Gobert. I'm pocket watching. I think he should be in the 80s and 90s. We got Porzingis, who should be in the 80s and 90s. 
He's fine. Uh, the marvelous the chosen. I think he should be in the 30s. He was in the 30s last year. I think he shouldn't have moved the muscle. And I think he should be in the top 35s. Yeah. Now, I don't know what's going on with the disrespect to DeRozan from the 2K. Uh, you know, with them not giving an upgraded face scan. Um, and then also with the rankings right here, DeRozan is an easy top 35 pick. Yep. Um, and, you know, he's playing with the Kings now. Uh, next to Fox or De'Aaron, so I think they're gonna raise his rankings a little bit lower. Uh, <laughs> he should be higher. He should be higher. J Dub, he's top thirty. J Dub is top thirty. I know it sounds crazy, but he's top thirty. Well, just watch, watch him. Watch the things he does on the court, bro. Just watch the things he do on the court. He's top thirty. Here we got Jalen Williams with the OKC Thunder. So you're saying he's better than Demar Derozan? This is what I'm saying, man. I'll tell you this, Fly. He does more things on the court than the Rosen. You know what I'm saying? He does more things on he's more and he's younger. He's younger, more springy. You know? You know? You know? No, I'm not mad at that ESPN. Like y'all have a couple of BS rankings here. Jalen Williams, literally last NBA season, he was ranked at number 95. Now, Jalen Williams is a solid role player. We're not gonna take that away from him. You know what I'm saying? Will he be an all-star in his NBA career? He might be. He might. He might flight. He might. Stop playing. You ever watch the OKC Thunder play, bro? It's not all about Shea. The way Shea get his 30, he's like, everyone lets him get his 30. Like, everyone feeds him. If that makes sense. Everyone, Shea don't go out there and get 30. Everyone, his, all his teammates feed him to get 30. If that makes sense. No. Will he make the Hall of Fame? Hell no. But he is a solid role player, and he does bring a lot of energy to OKC um, and everything like that. But I believe he should be where he was at last year, at 95. How did he get all the way from 95 to 44? Okay. We Murray? Murray and DeJounte. Pretty fine. Where he's yeah, he's all right. He got traded maybe to a better team if they should, everybody can stay healthy. Uh, he played with ATL last season. Um, let's see how he plays with the Pelicans. Siakam? 42. I think he should be up a little bit more probably in that 40 to 35 range. You got Cy Kondu from the Pacers. He is a little bit too high. He was 25 last year. How many followers is that? He was ranked number 25 last year. So I don't even know how he got to 40, 25 to 42. But yeah, he's fine where he's at. Harden! Point. He's 41? Harden's still a top 30 player. Stop playing. Stop playing. You got fear to beard, James Harden. He is way too high. He should be a considerable top 30 NBA player. Oh, you said, oh, you said way too high. I thought you said he should be a top one. You should be 100. Number 100 on the list. Exactly. Nope. Nope. Yeah, he should be a top 30 NBA player. That's right, Flight. Um, He's too low. Are really underestimating James Harden. Yep. Like, like you cannot expect them to have a 2017 year every single year. That's what I'm that saying. Yeah, the year that he had was just absolutely. Insane. He's playing. We're playing with Kawhi and PG and Russ. I mean, you're not gonna replicate that same year every single year. Like, okay, so I feel like the expectations for Harden have been kind of increasing for no apparent reason. Now he is still playing with the Clippers. He's playing next to Kawhi. Uh, PG is not there this season, so he may get a, a few more touches um, and, and a few more opportunities to just, you know, chuck more shots up, just given the fact that he doesn't have another another all-star right next to him. Well, he I mean, outside of PG, Kawhi's an all-star. I meant to say, like, another of an all-star of an all-star, if you know what I mean. Get my words mixed up, you know what I'm saying? That duck pack. <laughs> but check me out. You know, Harden playing next to Kawhi, another all-star. He doesn't have three all-stars. It's one all-star, but you get it. Brandon Ingram. Got Ingram and Brandon at uh. Oh, Pelicans. that's fine. He's fine where he's at right there. Derek, why you got, got Derek, Derek right ahead of Brandon Ingram? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Switched him, swapped him, swapped him, swapped. Derek White. <laughs> this guy. Hey, man, remember they were trying to vote him an All Star last year. All the media members tried to vote him an All Star, but you know the the coaches and the player and the coaches and the fans they wasn't having it. <laughs> oh, the media, the media wanted him to be an All Star so bad. He cut his hair. He got the beard. You know. You know, light skin, you know. <laughs> and speaking of a big bald head, you know he got slapped in his bald head at the um, Colorado game. I think. I think he got slapped. He got out of a hat. Someone slapped him on the head and his hat fell off or something like that. But, nah, Brandon Ingram should be higher than you. He was even ranked last year, and just because he tagged along with Tatum Brown. and Brown to win an <laughs> NBA title, you guys bring him at number 39. They love Derek White flight. They love Derek White in the media. I don't know why. I don't know what he did to the media. I don't know what he did to people in the media. They even chose him for Team USA. I don't know what he did for the people in the media. But he, he probably paid him. He probably paid his entire salary to the, the media, bro. 
How many men he made? He made about like $16 million. Like, he probably paid it all to the media. <laughs> Thank you. We'll put you on Team USA and give you a high rating. Saying that he is better than Draymond Green. You saying he's better than DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, it's You're crazy. He ain't better than Draymond Green. He not better than Draymond Green. Put that on site. He's not better than Draymond Green. Maybe Draymond should be up here. Nah. He should be that. He should be back with Draymond and Derek White, respectfully. You have to think of you an all-star. They had, had the media thinking you were all-star. And he's better than Zach Levine. Are you kidding me? Derek White? Bro, where do I start? I've already said what I needed to say. Even debate with him playing next to Team USA off the basics of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have even been in the same door as that glorious King Steph Curry. You know what I'm saying? And then he's using the same doors as LeBron and all the other All-Stars. Like, I don't even know how that was even possible to him playing on Team USA with the other All-Stars that wasn't even on Team USA. All right? But now he is ranked number 39 um, out of a top 100 to go into this 2024-2025 NBA season. This is absolutely one of the worst rankings I have ever witnessed. Yes, 100%. One of the worst. Come on, guys. What are y'all doing? If you put Derek White on any other NBA team, <laughs> he's gone after 15 games overseas. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Yeah, Mikhail Bridges at 38. I uh, feel like he's going to uh, uh, or low, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 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 he should be back where OG is at. He should be back where I don't know, I forgot where OG is at. He should be back there. He needs to be in, like, the 80s and 90s. He's not going yeah. really to be in the 30s. Or well, maybe even 70s, but he's not in 30s. Hell no. Trey, Trey Young? Dang, he went down 10 spots. Oh, man. I think he should be, like, number 30. Exactly number 30. Uh, so, like, this is what I'm talking about. You have Mikhail Bridges and Derek White in the same category yes, as Trey Young. Young. Yeah. How does that make sense? Like, we don't even need to explain... How much of a damn lead Trey Young is compared to them last two I just mentioned. And last season, he was at number 27. How did he go all the way to 37? That's what I'm saying. Should, I know, yeah, I think he, think he should have fell off, but not this much. Point number 30. Why is people continuously getting comfortable disrespect? McCubber ain't never averaged 10 assists a game a day in his life. Same with uh, uh, Derek White. What the heck? I think Trey Young. You know what? If I'm Trey Young, bro... And it just seems like the Atlanta Hawks don't do anything to back him up whatsoever. I'm asking and demanding for a trade 15 games in the NBA season. Let me get my cool little 35 plus points per game to still show the NBA that I got it. You know what I'm saying? Get and my build stock. His, yeah, build up his stock. Yeah, build up his stock. Build up his value. Yep. If I'm Trey Young, I'm demanding. It's kind of like Kyrie did back in 2023 to the Nets. He built up his stock, built up his value. So, all right, I want to get traded. And he had no choice. He said, I want to trade back to trade deadline. And he was a free agent. So he was going to free agency. They had no choice. I think a trade, bro, because this is getting ridiculous. They are overlooking talent. Trey Young is literally my top 15, top 20 favorite NBA players of right now in the league. And I've been continuously seen. Now, for granted, he is a roastable NBA player. We're not going to just, like, you know, just, like, sure, Dakota, like, definitely huh. get your jokes off. But how about you roastable? What's that mean? You cannot deny him. But roast him about what? His game? Him being a superstar, all-star player, and bro, from 27 to 37, and being in the same conversation as Derek White and Mikael Bridges is absolutely diabolical, bro. Do we holiday? Right? Trey Young got to go to a team like the Heat. <laughs> yeah, they can use him. Yep. Next up, you got Drew Holiday. Yeah, right whatever. There. Scotty, you got my man Scotty, five six one months. Who made it into the top 35 NBA? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got that max contract, boy. Uh, rankings right here. I believe, honestly, he should be maybe into the top 25. Maybe, maybe. That's reach, maybe. Guess, maybe, 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 maybe. Let's see what you do this season. Maybe, maybe. You got that max contract. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You didn't say you got the ball in your hands. Now, you don't have to worry about uh, 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 Siakam and OG and Nobi. I think he should be top 25, but this is a good start right here. All the way from ranking 63 last NBA season, and now he is a 35 ranked player. Scotty Barnes, in my opinion, I think after this NBA season is going to be one of the top seven faces of the NBA. Um, and that's not crazy. That's not crazy, deserved, bro. Uh, you know the Raptors um, are very lucky to have a player like him. I think the Raptors can make a deep playoff run if everybody stays healthy. I think Scotty. Yeah, now you now now you crazy. Now you crazy. Hell no, flight. Who they got? Scotty Barnes, RJ Barrett. That, quickly ain't enough. 
quickly like six feet tall. RJ inconsistent. Who else they got? No flight. Have a real, real breakout NBA season this year. Um, and hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Mark my words with that. Next. Hey, Shaq is laughing right now. Shaq is laughing right now. He's 34 and he's getting 200 million. I could never. I broke my I broke my neck to be number one and make 200 million. They just handed it to him. They just handed it number 34. Here you go, 200 million. That's not how it's supposed to be. I can hear Shaq right now. That's what Shaq is saying right now. <laughs> that man won defensive play. And they put him top 30. Next up, you got Rudy Gobert for the Timberwolves. Um, hey, he rose up in the rankings 64 to 34. He went up there. He went up 30 spots. That's crazy. He should be top maybe 50. Number 50 on the dot. He should be top 50 on the dot. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? Uh, the Marketing? Man Rudy Gobert. Uh, hey, man. You know, Rudy, Rudy's FTC, even though we be roasting him, you know what I'm saying, left and right. But it's much deserved. <laughs> he's having a different lineup this year. Let's see how he's uh, roasting you, Rudy, because you're a one-way player. That's why. You're just a one-way player. That's all. If you were a two-way player, you want to be roastable. But you're just a one-way player. You know what I'm saying? Uh, goes... Uh, and, and, and follows through with it with Randall LeJohn back there. And then Ant Edwards, of course. And then, you know, you got Dillingham. Bro, they got a squad, bro. Yeah, that's they what I'm saying. Yeah, I was, play, I was played against them on 2K. They got a nice bench. They got a nice bench. I'll tell you that. They got a nice bench. Demon Chinzo, Nas Reed, he won some a year last year. Nikhil Alexander. Wow, they got a nice bench. A nice bench. A squad. You got the Mark Cannon dude from the Jazz who was supposed to go to the Warriors, but unfortunately he just He's number thirty three. He's too he's too he's too high. He should be like in the fifties, bro. He's fine where he's at right there. Shit. Shit at even played. Trick didn't even play in two thousand twenty three. He and he got ranked. <laughs> yeah, they love Chet. Chet thirty two. Thirty two Chet. Uh, I, I, I think he should be a little lower. Not too much lower, but a little lower. But okay, I can't complain. Thirty two. I think he should be in the 50s. Nah, he should be like in the 40s, maybe. Murray or Jamal? Jamal Murray? He was number 17? How did we even make an all-star team? How are you number 17? He, he rolled down, though. Top 31? Mm, put him 35. At 31, he went from 17 to 31 last NBA season um, in the rankings. Wow. How do y'all feel about that? Denver he never made an all-star Cat. Fans. He got he Cat got top 30. All right. Man, Cat! In the top 30s now we're getting into. The man Cat, um, he went from 20 to 30. I think he's going to get back into the 20s. Yeah. Uh, once, uh, you know, he plays with the Knicks throughout this uh, NBA season. Baby Saba, I'm sorry, bro. I love you, Baby Saba. I love you, Baby Saba, but you ain't 29. You is not 29. You more barbed with like 39, 38. You probably in that range. You ain't 29. You is not 29. I'm sorry, Baby Saba. You, I thought you were a shooter, but you weren't a shooter like Cat. If you were a shooter like Cat, then yeah. You got Sabonis Sabonis as a top 30 NBA player. This is getting the joke. This is becoming a joke, man. Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you kidding me, bro? Sabonis Sabonis? You got Sabonis Sabonis. Above Jimmy. You got all about to say where Jimmy Butler is. I thought Jimmy Butler was. Sabonis Sabonis. Man, where do I begin? Sabonis Sabonis. He deserves to be in the 70s, man. You got Butler and Jimmy at the Butler, team. Tony, okay. Good. Okay, he's stay. You're saying he's just injured too much. In the playoffs. He plays in the playoffs. I'm a dad get a little competitive. All right, play on my main event. I know you go there. You play all the activities as much as you want. Zion, 25, I mean, 27. Deion Williamson at 27. I'm actually going to give an applaud right here. To ESPN for giving him in the top 30s, given the fact that he has been injured the past couple of seasons. But yeah. that does not mean that he has not displayed the absolute superstar athleticism. Yep. That generation. He was cooking the Lakers until he got hurt in that fourth quarter and the Lakers won. But he was cooking, bro. They couldn't stop him. He was great. He probably would have had 50. So, superstar athleticism that Zion is presenting. He is far from an NBA bus. Um, he's the former number one overall pick, right? Yeah, number one overall pick. He has been living up to expectations. Um, and, hey, I think he's going to be showing a lot more coming to this NBA season. De'Aaron. Next up, you got Foxy De'Aaron. He's fine where he's at. Uh, a little lower. I think he should be in, like, the... He should be, like, in the 31. He should be 31. 31, exactly on the dot. 31. Kyrie! They had him at 34 last year. He moved on nine spots. 
Kyrie top 20. Bro, he's too low. Top 20. Kyrie's top 20 for surely. For sure, he's top 20. Gotta be at least 20. That's the low he should be. Kyrie! He's too at low. 25. Pretty fine where he's at. No, not after me. He's top 20. He's proud of the NBA for getting him in the top 30s. Not Paolo, okay, okay, I like it, okay, KK. Nice, right there, you got the Paolo dude at okay. 24. Okay. Paolo is a, I think Paolo is probably the most underrated. Young came the youngest player in NBA history, lead his team in scoring, rebounds, and assists. LeBron didn't do that? LeBron didn't do that? And he hit the Cavs in seven. NBA all-star superstar of today's NBA game. I feel like for some reason, like, he is blackballed and don't, like, you know, like, say this is a reach whatsoever. I feel like it's a fact. Paolo has consistently put up about 24 to 25 points per game this last NBA season. Yep. And nobody no I care. About yep. whatsoever. Now, I will take a little bit of a blame. For and the team was decent, too. Reacting to a lot of Magic games last season. And I don't. I'm not reacting to no Magic games. Magic, y'all decent team. I ain't, I ain't reacting to y'all. <laughs> Unless my teams play, y'all. I will vow to react to more Magic games this NBA season because... In my opinion, Paolo kind of reminds me of a rookie, Carmelo Anthony, from back in the day. This guy is filled with talent. And, hey, I just feel like nobody really talks about Paolo like that throughout the NBA. It's very weird. Um, I think he's going to be uh, – he's going to have a breakout NBA season this year. And, hey, man, he's going to – he's. I think he's going to come up and show some crazy games. Okay, Lillard. I Daniel like him. Lillard okay, he's like that. Bucks. At 20, okay. He's pretty fine where he's at. All right, yep. uh, last NBA season, he had a little mid NBA he, season, but still average. Yeah, he fell season. off last NBA season because he's old and he got traded. Game still played at an All Star level. Yeah, he's and still All Star. Don't get it twisted. Yep. You know, obviously made the All Star team and stuff like that. But given the fact that you're playing next to a Kunkbo, you guys are considered a super team. So I feel like they had a lot of disappointments throughout last season. Let's see how they finish off. You got Kawhi. Why Kawhi? Twenty two. Okay. He just can't stay injured. I was even he healthy. He probably top 15. Right there. Hopefully, man, I really hope Kawhi plays at least 50 plus games this NBA season. I feel like if he just plays. He played like 60 games last year, didn't he? He played like 60 games. He was playing on back to backs. We reacted to the Clippers games. He was playing back to backs last year. Then during April, that's when he got hurt. Play anything less than that. People are just going to write him off. Honestly, man. So let's see uh -huh. how uh, it turns out. You got PG 21? No. Sorry, PG. You ain't. Uh, you PG, you probably in the 30s, bro. You in the 30s, PG. You ain't 20. You ain't in the 20s. You you in the, you, 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 you 30s. You in the 30s. You probably like 30, 30 on the dot or 31 on the dot. You probably went one of those areas. The man Paul George, uh, who recently in the same press him, he had a hyper extended knee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get well soon. Get well soon, PG. Um, in the preseason game, um, I seen the news report about that in the clips. Um, so, you know, Paul George, hopefully he will be ready to go this NBA season. But you is not 21. You is not 21, PG. What you doing drinking? What you doing driving? Bro, them are 30. Them are 30. It's unfortunate because, the, you know, the Sixers have a super team. You know, and given the fact that they got, you know, Embiid and, um, you know, Maxi and Jared McCain, it's going to be a pretty fun lineup. So hopefully Paul George is able to play within the first 15 games. Um, and then after. John removed up. Shot. Murray's top 15. 20? No, move him up. Y'all already in the right direction. He was 35 last year. Now he's 20, even though he only played nine games. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But he's just top 15. Ja, show him. Show him this season, man. I'm, that's the person I'm most excited to watch again, John ja Morant, man. John ja Morant. I'm on that Memphis Grizzlies. I'm on the Memphis Grizzlies games, bro. I'm reacting to them. As long as Ja stays healthy. Because, bro. Right, he, he's top 15. He's at least. That's the lowest he should be. Top 15. Gotcha. Like, look at the impact he has on the team. Who I actually am proud of ESPN for actually putting him into the top 20s. Um, you know, given the fact that last NBA season, you know, he uh, was limited to the amount of games. Uh, you know, with the injury that he had, and he's about to come back strong. He did have that ankle injury in the preseason. Uh, but now he is about, you know what I'm saying, to come back. Um, I think he's going to have a breakout year. I think he's going to have a uh, comeback NBA player. Yep. Not even that, just maybe comeback sports player mm -hmm. um, this year. Coming yep. up in 2024, 2025, and everything like that. Ja Jaja has grown to, uh, you know, be my uh, favorite top seven NBA player of right now and everything like that. So I'm actually excited. going to be seeing a lot of Grizzlies reactions. Yep. Uh, this NBA season coming up. Yep. You got Tyrese. Tyrese Maxi, but uh, Maxi. See, Maxi's tough. 
Man, he plays with them beat and night Paul George. Man, he is tough. He's he, like tough. Where the Rankum is tough, and he's tough as a player. He's a nice player. I like Maxi. He deserved that max too. Maxi got the max. Uh, but nineteen. That's too. I think it's a little bit too high. Maxi should be in like. He should be where. Why put say Kyrie should be at? Kyrie should be top twenty. He should be twenty one. Maxi should be twenty. He should be in B's jersey number twenty one. Maxi from the Sixers, who actually rose from the ranks 42 from last season to go into 19. I think it's pretty fine where he's at right there. No, Sorry. I think you go b bump him down two more spots. 21. He definitely came up big in big games, especially with Embiid of Joel B. He did, out he did. Because of that knee injury last He season. was all star, too. Most improved player, okay. You got Ed Bam. Mayo from the Heat. Pretty f <sighs> Why do I feel like Bam should be high? I think Bam should be 15. I think Bam's a top 15 player. I think Bam's a top 15 player, bro. Gold medalist? But 18, I can't be mad at 18. He was 16 last year. 18, all right. But Spidey, he's top 15. You see what he does in the playoffs? How he bumped down two spots? That man was dropping 50 bombs in the playoffs to set the team season, bro. It was just him versus the Magic out there. Garland, Garland was playing like trash. And you know, Mobley and Al, they're not really scorers like that. They're more defensive players. And you know, Paula was having their way with them at times. Paula and Wagner. So you don't see a lot of Cavs reactions, too. You know, Spidey, my top three favorite player in the NBA. Spidey. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I love me some Spidey. You find where he's at. Halibacon? No, 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 no. Halibacon is not better than Spidey. Stop it. 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 Stop. Halibacon should be 18, where Massey is at. 19, one of them. Uh, ranking, pretty fine where he's at right there. You got Halliburton. Now swap out Mitchell with Halliburton. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I would not say Halliburton is better than Jaja. That's true. You're saying yeah. Halliburton is better than Jaja, Kyrie yeah. Irving. Stop it. Stop it. Burns. Stop it. Stop it. Nah. Stop it. This man was, bro, this man. Hey, look at his playoff numbers, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Look at his regular season numbers, playoff numbers. Stop it. Nah. They got to they gotta fix that. Yeah. Booker. A Booker at Devin. All right. Rankin, All right. Jalen Brown. He won finals MVP. He won finals MVP and Easter Conference finals MVP. He number 14, buddy. You got Brown and Jalen final where he's at right there at 14. AD 13. You got 13 rank. He's not top 10. AD not top 10. Anthony Davis three final where he's at. You got Brunchin final where he's at right there. You got West number 11. Hey, calm down. You go. You, you can. Hey, 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 hey. I know. 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 It's when Benny yay yay. But he's not. He's not a top eleven NBA player. Stop it. Not right now. Stop it. Stop it. I pull him. He's probably a top 20, 25. He should be back in the 25 range, bro. He should be 25 on the dot. He should be a top 25 player on the dot. Ain't no 11. He ain't 11. Not yet. Stop it. Relax. Relax. Be patient, y'all. That's a lost art nowadays. Everyone don't want to be patient, but you have to. Wet Bananas! All right. And ESPN. Wet Bananas is a top five NBA player. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I don't want none of that duck pack. I don't want none of that duck pack. Hell no. Nah. He ain't no top five NBA player. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. No, 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 no. Give him another year. You guys are fucking up right now. This is... Yo, come on. Do we got to explain? I cannot wait to react to these San Antonio games. The same I'm not reacting to them. They going to lose a lot of games. <laughs> they, they got Chris Paul. Oh, that Chris Paul. Small that Chris Paul. They ain't going to win a lot of games. They probably going to win probably about like 30 games. They're going to be like the... Uh, 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 like the... Uh, 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 I know my camera just went off. They're going to be like the... Uh, 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 What's that team that got on the road second half of the season? Not the Rockets, but some other team. I forgot. They're like the 2020s. They're going to be like the 2020 Suns. When they went undefeated in the bowl and still didn't make the playoff, that's going to be the Spurs this year. 2020 Suns. I've been seeing Let me see my counter come back on. If not, I just got to, you know what I'm saying? Your rage this. OG, your rage. Chris, move it. Are y'all playing with me? Oh, yeah, it's playing with me. Hold up, y'all.
There we go. Now stay on. Stop playing with me. I don't want to turn to your age. OG your age. I don't want to turn to Chris move. Come on. A couple of clips of him playing in the preseason, which I told you guys nobody cares about the preseason. So that's why we have them reacting to all the NBA teams outside of my Warriors. Uh, but that's why I've been reacting to it at all. It's the preseason. It don't count. I've been seeing it. Bronny James. Le KD blocked Bronny James. Someone in the comments said, say, KD really blocked LeBron James' son. And KD, that's how you know your mode. Oh, I'm old. Yep, you old, KD. He's going to be having a break. But you're nice. you ain't short. You ain't short. So there's a difference between you and Chris Paul and Mike Conley. He's going to prove why he is a top five NBA player of right now and of all time. All right, you got this wrong right here, ESPN. This is bad. He is not number 11. He is top He's five like a, a, a being a point guard. It's kind of like being a running back in the NFL, bro. Once you get a certain age, you, go, you become less effective. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's like running back in the NFL. Once they get a certain age, they're not affected no more. All right, going into the top 10. Here we go. Now, as we saw by yeah. accident earlier, Ant Edwards it's is top, in the top 10. 10. He is fine where he's at right okay. there. Ant okay. is becoming one of the faces of the okay. NBA. Okay, okay, okay. a very good breakout uh, past two NBA seasons. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see what he got. You know, we're going to be watching Minnesota Timberwolves games. Is this the most games? We're going to watch the Memphis Grizzlies. The Minnesota Timberwolves and the Cleveland Cavaliers. These are the games we're going to be watching. I know they small market teams and whatnot. I don't want to go there, but, you know, these are, those are my top three reacting teams. He's with a brand new squad. KD okay. number nine. Stop. Kevin Durant. I'm happy Kevin Durant is still getting the respect he deserves. Okay, number nine, okay. Ten. Despite him bouncing around from team to team like a blunt, he... <laughs> Hell no, he told me all these players better than Russ. No, 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 no. Where's Russ? I forgot about Russ. Where is Russ? How did I forget about Russ? Where is he at, ESPN? Stop it. That's because my flight said he's getting bounced from team to team like a blunt. Bro, he's getting bounced to contenders, bro. Contender after contender. You got to understand, that's not everyone's doing that. Not everyone's bounced to contender, contender, contender. Come on, man. Where's Russ, man? He should be on his list. No Russ on his list is crazy. I ain't saying he should be top 10 or top 15 or top 20 or top 25 or top 30. He should be probably in the 50s, bro. He should probably be in the 50s. Hell no. I can't name 50 players better than Russ. I, mean, I can't name, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't name 50 players better than Russ. Hell no. Where's Russ? This is a disgrace. This is a disgrace. <laughs> Take this trash and throw it out the window. Take this list and just throw it out the window, bro. Throw it in the trash can in your neighbor's yard. It's crazy. It's crazy. He is respectful. So you can mow it over his lawn. Yep, it's crazy. He's still a top 10 player and top 15 player of all time, Kevin Durant. I hope he can stay healthy. And you know what I'm saying? All throughout this NBA season, um, Kevin Durant is easily averaging 27, 30 points on any of your favorite team, including mine. I wish he didn't leave the Warriors, but thanks to Dream on Dream, <laughs> other things was playing. You have Embiid and Joel. Now, I ain't going to lie. We got to give respect to be, uh, Joel where it is due. Now, he's had a couple of 50-point games these past NBA seasons. And, bro, what can I possibly say? Now, all he has to do is stay healthy. And if you've seen from last NBA season, he was actually ranked at three. Now, because he got injured, he fell in the rankings a little bit. You have... Now, I'm not even going to lie to you. I forgot he did that. Humbly, LeBron, I forgot he did that. Should be a top five NBA player. Right? Old man, old man, Bron Bron ain't no top five NBA player. Old man, Bron Bron ain't no top five NBA player. Now, where you put him in the top five is up to you. But top five of all time and right now. No, has... not right now. No, 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 not right now. Now he's top ten for sure, not top five. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. To be... In the top five. No, nope, top, top ten. Saying, top ten. Seven it's not like he's ranked number 34, but... Top ten. Top he's top five. ten. We even need to explain the longevity. You know what I'm saying? He got Bronny James, who's going to be a future all-star. You know what I'm saying? Father-son duo. And give Rose him two spots. I think he shot 40% from three last year. He shot 40 He all of a sudden, he got better when he... <laughs> he got better at shooting when he got older. He ain't top ten, though. He's not top ten. This season. This is just because the fact he can't carry a team for 48 minutes anymore. He can't do that anymore, so he's not top five. That's a top five player to me. You got to carry your team for 48 minutes. You could carry your team for 48 minutes, you're a top five player. 
he can't do that anymore. He can bring you across the finish line, but he can't carry you for 48 minutes like he can't like he did in the past. He's not top five. Um, next up, oh, he's number no, six. No, 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 no. Oh, he's number please. six. Come on, he's about to close the app. He's about to shut down everything. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? You couldn't just squeeze. Steph Chef, look at Wardell Curryman into the top five. You had to be petty and put him outside that top five bubble. You had to be petty and put him outside the top five bubble. <laughs> That's what you on, get. Bro. That's what you get. <laughs> Do we need to explain? Steph Curry is the number one player of right now and of all time. Had plenty of rest with the Warriors not making the playoffs last NBA season. The Warriors yeah, if he was top five, they would have seen when they made the playoffs. Like. If you was top five, your team make the play. What best player in the NBA team don't make the playoffs? He's the best player in the NBA, but his team didn't make the playoffs. How are you the best player then? Be the team to watch. Come on, come on, come on. This NBA season, ESPN man. This he was the best player when it had mattered. Clay Thompson go for zero for ten. He would have. He would have had fifty. He should have had fifty and won that game, like he did a few years ago back in uh, Sacramento. But what? They lost in the first playing game. Went home early to Cancun. But then they called Draymond Green from Cancun so he can be on TNT and roast Gobert with Shaq. <laughs> this is bad, man. Now you had a chance to save yourself and save my green screen. by putting Curry at least in the top three. And you failed to do that. These are definitely one of the worst top 100 rankings of all time. You yes, sir. Yep. And you don't even got Russell on the list. They don't even got Russell on the list. That's how you know it's trash. To put Curry in the top five. You got Mike Conley on the list, but not Russ. You got Mike Conley on the... Mike Conley. Shout out to Mike Conley. He's probably one of the most underrated players of all time. But he ain't better than Russ. NBA season, you had him in the top five. Why is he out of the top five this NBA season? Because it's him that make the playoffs. And he ain't getting any younger. No excuses. We don't need to explain all the accolades. We don't need the, it's a, it's a Santa Claus list of accolades. Real basketball hooper hoopers like myself. Now. ESPN, why is Curry not in the top five? I can tell you right now, Flake. I just did. Next up, you got, so you're Tatum, number Tatum five. is better than Curry and LeBron. Tatum yes. is a top yes. 10 player. He is my top 15 yes. favorite player in the NBA of right now. Well, I'll say he's better than Curry, better than LeBron. Yeah, probably, yeah. Cause Tatum, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Tatum can't carry you for all 48 minutes. Can he? No, he can't. He can't. He should, yeah, he should be low. He should be lower. He should be probably like number six or seven. Yes, but he is not better than Curry or LeBron. Just because he won a championship. We did it! Bro, he is... We did it! He's on the cover of 2K. They got to glaze a little bit. Not better than Curry or LeBron. Come on, ESPN. What are y'all doing? Now, Tatum is a superstar and respectfully a top seven face of the NBA. Yep, that's what I said. Top seven, yeah. Plenty of time, uh, you know, Tatum has a very good character and a very good, you know, um, you know, personality about just how he just goes about certain things, yes. But when it transfers over to skill, come on. He is not better than Curry or LeBron. Hey! Oh my god. Goodness. Now, I will yeah. say after last season, SGA is a top five player, but he's not better than Curry. What are y'all doing, bro? Man, he's number better than LeBron from last NBA. He got on number four? That's kind of high. That's kind of high. He should be number nine. I think number nine suits him well. Number nine suits him well. It just fits him. Number nine. Season, but not it's number six backwards or upside down. Number nine. Curry. Now, I'm not mad at them putting SGA into the top five. He is a top five game player after last season. 32, 33 points per game. Come on. Like, but not better than Curry. Next. Giannis, number three. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I got number four. I feel like a combo after last NBA season. He still had an all-star NBA season, but it was kind of mid. Wasn't it was? It? The, the, the Bucs should have made it a little they bit They got a stats down there? Let me see a stat. They got a stats down there? Mid. They got a stats down there? Last NBA Where's his stats at? He ain't playing the playoffs because he got hurt with this cab. That's the problem. He hasn't been hurt. He hasn't been healthy in the playoffs the last two years. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you. I honestly feel like a Kunpo after last NBA season, 
he still had an all-star NBA season, but it was kind of mid, wasn't it? The, the, the Bucs should have made it a little bit further in the NBA playoffs. He got the coach now, fired. Was <laughs> he got the coach times. fired Last NBA and hired season, Doc Rivers. He had him at the <laughs> number one rank, and now he's number three. I believe Okunpo, don't you think he should be like maybe a 11th or 10th ranked player? Not in the top 10. Yeah, fly that duck pack, yeah. That duck pack hitting right now. It's hitting you right now. It got to your head now. He, talking, he said Yans is not top 10? Yeah, you're crazy. Yeah, crazy, Fly. He said Yans is not top 10. Yeah, you're crazy. When healthy. When healthy. You he say he's not top 10. That's crazy. Maybe. Nah, maybe top 10. Not in the top 5. Okay. He said Giannis is not top 10 at first. He had to change. He had to reverse. He had that. Oh, that duck pack taking over right now. I can't let it take over. It was like, ever watch Beyblade, bro? You know of Ryu? He has the L Dragon. Remember the L Dragon trying to take over his body? That's what's happening in flight right now. The duck pack is trying to take over his body, but he's fighting back. He's fighting the urge. He wants to control the duck pack. You don't want the duck pack to control him. Next up, Donnick. Okay. 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 Not okay. Okay. LeBron. Okay. You know. And I haven't heard his name whatsoever. Who can I have guessed? Is gonna be hey, he's good. He, once he's hey, once he finally started to play defense, he saw himself in the NBA Finals. What did he do? He, he, he's good. He's good. He need to play defense. He's good. Coming in. Cause I remember we watched the Clippers, bro. They beat the Clippers in the first round. I said, Luke never play defense like this a day in his life. What the? What, what happened to him? What got into him? And at number one. Jokic. Jokic. Now, Jokic. And Donakit are top five NBA players, 100%. Yes. You know, he likes Curry number one, of course. Superstar of the NBA, yes. Okay. Hall of Famers, yes. You can even. He'll come in the sixth player, only the sixth player to win four or more MVPs. Considering that is only Kareem, Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, and LeBron. Kareem, Michael Jordan, Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell. All right. He's number six. All right, we say top seven faces of the NBA, 100%. But to say that Jokic is better than Curry is just disrespectful on all levels. How many MVPs Jokic got? How many MVPs Gert Curry got? How many? They got the same amount of Finals MVPs. Even though Curry got more rings, he got the same amount of Finals MVPs Curry do. Come on, flight. There y'all have it, man. We got the official top 100 list of ESPN. Of the 2024-2025 NBA season. Whenever they have the updated list. Which usually is around playoff time. Or maybe we can do an update. If they have an updated one by All-Star break. Let me know. And we'll follow it. Um, I want to say this, is the, this isn't the worst list. It's yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. The Russ not on the list. So it's worse. Yes. But it isn't too, too bad. Some certain rankings are actually on point. I'm actually proud of some certain rankings being there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take that back. It's not the worst list. Like Flight says, some rankings are on point, but you still throw it out the window. Russ is not on the list, so throw it out the window. It still has to be in one of the categories of one of the worst lists, because Trey is not number one. Yeah, Russ is not on the list. Messed up, man. A good list. It's a good it's a, it's a, it's decent. Be still throw it out the window, man. Russ not on it. 